but still 100% worth. Watch until the end to see me break Minecraft. Here on Minecraft, go ahead and have some blocks, some top snow, How's some banners, and you can go ahead and Minecraft? place them like I do here, and uh -huh. you'll be able to see through the world. And Excuse of course, me. I always what? recommend see the telescope the in the night vision, what? and that's pretty much what? it. Enjoy, have he a great day. He just made the ground invisible! He's just got x-ray hacks, and all he's using us some banners, some snow, and some night vision potion? I should buy... What? If you thought hacking was the way to break Minecraft, you were wrong. It's a bunch of snow. Like, what? We're going to try this for ourselves. So basically, it's one, two blocks of snow, then two blocks of space, and two more over here. And then in this two by two, four square, we're going to place one, two, three, four blocks of top snow. And then apparently, we just need to place some banners on these snow blocks here. Let's give it a go. Bang. Whoa. It's already working. Okay, we're going to finish this. Two, three, and four. And holy moly, I can literally see through the ground. Are you guys seeing this right now? What is this? This is x-ray hacks without any hacks. This is crazy. And we can make this even better by using this splash potion of night vision. Wah bam! Chuck this on ourselves and... Oh my goodness, you can literally see into the games. You can see the orb and we can use the spyglass to zoom in. Boom! Copper, just like that, guys. If you built this, like, in a cave system, it'd be so easy to find diamonds or literally anything else you want. This is literally breaking the game. I cannot believe this works. If your campfire was to go out, uh huh, don't do this. Wait, Instead, why not? That's the easiest axe. thing you could do. What are you going to do with a self-touch axe? I don't understand. Place it what? down again, huh? and it relights But it didn't have stuff. fire. How did it just come back with fire? Well, we'll try it. Let's chuck down our anvil, and then you're going to need to use an axe. Now, they used a netherite axe. I want to see if it works with any axe whatsoever. So we've got a stone one here. And then we're going to need a Silk Touch Enchanted Book that's going to give us our Stone Axe with Silk Touch. And now let's go ahead and put it nope. out using our Splash Water Bottle. Bubba am I'm going to switch into Survival Mode to see if this is legit. So no fire whatsoever. We dig it up using this Silk Touch Axe and... Are you kidding me? That icon literally has fire. Okay, wait. I'm going to get rid of this fire in my inventory at the moment. We're going to pick this one up. Place it down. How? How? How is that possible? Silk Touch is supposed to pick things up the way they are, but somehow it's relighting stuff on fire? It makes no sense. My brain is like fried right now, huh? Minecraft just released its first snapshot of 1.18, and so here's excited. what it added. New cave generation that goes down to Y-64, including what? two new cave that biomes. Six new mountain biomes that go higher than Whoa. ever before, making them change build beautiful. height to 320. What? Ores now spawn much differently. Okay. Iron is now the most common ore in the game, being found in mega clusters that can contain hundreds of ore. You're Diamonds become more lady. common the further you go ah. down, but are less likely to be exposed to air, meaning the ah. new best way to get diamonds okay. is strip mining at layer negative 56. Bro. What? World generation is much more dramatic, that adding hilly crazy. areas and aquifers. Yo, the worst so change cool. is that illagers now don't kill baby villagers. Oh, I guess I'll have to do it myself. Wait, what? It's true. It's real. The new 1.18 Caves and Cliffs snapshot is out now. Look at the bottom left-hand corner, 21W39A. We're going to see if all of these things in that video were true. Now, in the comments, I saw this seed. Apparently, is a great world to check out. Oh, my God. Literally straight up. Look at this cave. We have to look around, guys. All right, let's see. Coming up here, we got a Mesa Badlands biome. Yo, what? Look at that. Holy flip. Oh my goodness. This is like a jungle, savanna, Badlands biome all mixed together. Oh my jeez. Oh my. I'm going to faint. This is beautiful. Look at these mountains. Look at that cave. Okay, we, we cannot ignore these awesome new lush caves that they've added to the game. Holy moly. Look at this. Look at this. These are the coolest ravines I've ever seen, guys. We've got a ton of clay, guys. Much easier to get clay now. And look at this going to the ground. This is crazy. We need to give ourselves some night vision right now, guys, so we can see what's going on down here. Oh, my goodness. Okay, wait. I'm going to switch into spectator mode and look at these brand new caves. Look at this area. That is so cool. Holy moly. Just look at everything going on right now. There is just so much cave action, guys. Mining is going to be so much more exciting. The size of this world is just, it's just insane. There's so much to, I cannot wait for this update. I, I literally cannot wait. Guys, this is so exciting. Uh, are those some rails? How exactly do they defy Minecraft logic? Wait, what's going on with the rails on the left side there? They're all squiggly like, I don't know, spaghetti on steroids or something. What is this? No, why would you ever build rails? Like, what is he even doing? He's building them in a circle. He breaks the left one and then goes again, just over and over again, making this weird-ass rails, guys. Okay, wait, we've got a normal rail on the right, weird rail on the left. What exactly am I looking for here? Excuse me. Wait, what? Huh? Bro, how is that going so quick? What is going on? What magic is that? What black magic just happened on my screen? 
It was literally double the speed, guys. I refuse to believe that this is real, guys. Okay, we're gonna build our own little test track, but I just need to see if apparently the way I've been building rails this whole time is the wrong way. And my brain hurts to think about it. All right, guys, then we got our other track here. Now, we needed to have the same number of powered rails to start it off with, and once we've got that, we switch to roundabout rails. I just don't know how to describe it. So, what? They went one, two, three, four. Broke out this front rail and then started it. Wait, was it? Hold up. And then put a rail there and then one back here. Destroyed that rail and then one, two, three, four like that. So it creates a circle. Break this rail, put one in front, connect it. And bang. All right, cool. So there's the end of our track right there, guys. Let's see if the minecart actually goes faster, all right? So we're going to set up our little lever here, connect up to redstone dots. Here goes our minecart either side. In three, two, one, go! Why did they not? Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm so dumb. I got to put blocks back here for it to start. All right, take two. <laughs> go! Here we go. And that is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. What was that? It was... I quit Minecraft. Everything I do about Minecraft is wrong. Oh, what kind of weird, wacky machine is this? Okay, levers turn up red, some torches, some sticky pistons, hoppers going into a chest. We got some diamond ore. What would we need that for? I'm so confused. Okay, redstone behind the diamond ore, pistons out the front, observers, and then whoa! A diamond block archway. Is that a little bit overkill? Like, what? Do you really need the diamond blocks? Okay, redstone above those, sticky piston, end rod. And then we've got diamond blocks on the sides here. And what? Hopper in the back. Okay, left piston activates the back machine. And then, wait, what? Is that duplicating the diamonds? It must be glitching out the blocks somehow. But does that actually work? That is insane. Wait, just before we continue with the video, I have to show you the trailer for my new animated Minecraft show with 20 episodes and nine music videos coming out very soon. Jordan's life was perfect. That was until she showed up. Jordan will be marrying Ella. What? And just as everything started going right. Jordan is out cold. Things only got worse. If Jordan let me, I'd have left you dead. We can't mess this up. Literally everyone has to go and build one of these right now. So we had this chest and behind here there was one, two, three, four, five oak planks. We had one on either side like that. We had redstone torches and then we had levers on either side. Each of those were turned off to turn the redstone torches off. Now our next thing we need our sticky pistons on the left right side. Each of these have the diamond ore. I'm supposed that what glitches things out. And then on the back here guys behind each of the redstone torches we had one uh, oak planks, one behind each of those pistons. Some redstone dust and above here. Now this is the bit that confused me. We're going to wait a ton of diamond blocks like okay no you need to crouch and while crouching place an observer facing upwards on each of these redstone dust blocks so crouch and place the while crouching and then here we got one and two and then one in the middle like that then we're gonna have a redstone dust across the top here a sticky piston facing downwards and this has to have an end rod which is then going to go ahead and splice into the diamond ore there now we need to finish up the front, so grab yourself that hopper. We're going to crouch and while crouching place this on the chest and keep crouching place one behind. And then we're going to come here, crouch again while crouching, click a hopper onto this side and another one on this side like so. So they're all facing into that center hopper so that our diamonds go into that chest there. All right, now we just need to do a little bit of decoration. At least I think that's what this is. We've got stair blocks all the way back up here except for the top, which is upside down. And then we have diamond blocks on the left and right sides with stairs like so. And I think that's our machine done. I'm going to double check the original one quickly. Yep, everything seems to check out on my end, guys. I got the machine perfectly right first time. Let's go. Now it's time to see if it actually works. Alright, hit both the levers in three, two, one. But I am. And here we go. Have a look at that. So many diamonds. Except that is unrealistic and not real and it's 100% clickbait. That's right, guys. They clickbaited you. I can see it straight away. I knew straight up that it was clickbait. You're probably thinking, but if it's clickbait, how is it working right now? How are you generating this many diamonds and this much XP? Well, it's working because this whole machine actually just relies on one simple command block. They hit onto the ground, which basically sets infinite diamonds once it tests that that lever is activated. That's all it is. They suck. I hate clickbaiters, guys, and that's why I've got to expose them like this. So, guys, if you want to put an end to clickbait, make sure to subscribe to the channel. But let's move on to some actually working hacks, because that's what we're all here for. Yo! That looks so dope, guys! It looks like water is actually 
is spurting out of the fountain. I feel like I've seen this before, but I don't actually remember how this works. Okay, so we've got a sticky piston, a slime block on the top. Underneath, we're using, what, some redstone? A comparator here on subtract mode, and that's going into our piston, going pop, 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 up and down. But how does that make the cool water spurting out? Does it splash the water out? I am so confused. I want to see how this works. Okay, filling that area up with water. Now we're getting a bow and some blue arrows here. Oh my god, that is genius! The arrows are being shot onto the slime block and the slime block's pushing them up and down, making it look like water spurting out, but it's actually potion particle effects. Bro, everyone needs one of these. So first we've got this 5x5 five five square made out of quartz stairs with a 3x3 three three in the center. Then we're gonna place our sticky piston in the center here with a slime block on top and we wanna break out all of these blocks around here. I think we only wanna break out that many and then come down into here and break out a little room like so. Then we're gonna have our lever here going into a redstone comparator. That needs to be on subtract mode, so click it. So that's a little redstone dust. Bring that around and bring... Wait, hold up. Did I stuff this up? <laughs> hold up. The redstone has to go there. Perfect. All right, so it should look something like that and then we can cover up like so and you just need to hit that lever three two one bang hey look at that okay our slime block is moving up and down and then we need to cover all of this up with obsidian oh wait that's not gonna work because that redstone dust is in the way hold up do we need to, do, but if we bring it down there it's not gonna work either hold up i double checked the video this is exactly what they did but ours isn't working i think they might have updated the game since that video was made we need to actually bring the redstone around like that no nope, that's not working either maybe if we use a repeater okay guys uh, look i still think this is gonna work the redstone's just a bit buggy aha all right, there we go. So it's a little bit different to the video. You need to have the rest of it come out and then a repeater in. And then we're going to put obsidian here. And then we want to place block of quartz all around here. This is going to create a little bit of a wall for our water, guys. Just like so. Fill this up with water because obviously this is a fountain after all. Bang. And finally, guys, we're going to need our bow and those blue arrows. Those are arrows of water breathing. And we just want to shoot a ton of these down here, guys. This honestly defies Minecraft logic because you think they're just potion particles, but they're actually not. It looks like water. Just confusing literally everybody, guys. All right, there we go. We're going to go shoot a bunch of those down. I suppose the more you shoot, the more realistic it's going to look. Yeah, look at that, guys. Our little water fountain like so. You should probably shoot a few more, guys. I feel like the more, the merrier here. Look at that. A mixture of particles. Okay, that is a realistic fountain and a half. The more you get, the more better the better it's going to look. Okay, we're digging a tree. That seems pretty normal at the moment. Don't see how this is defying Minecraft logic or breaking anything. How long? Am I just going to watch this guy make wood? I'm, I'm bored. <sighs> oh, my goodness. Okay, um... Well, I suppose this was a waste of time for absolutely everyone watching the video. Now we're making a wooden pickaxe. Did he just craft a log back from wood? Hold up. Hold up. He took... Since when you can turn... Since when can you turn wood back into a log? Everyone knows you can turn logs into wood planks, but can you turn wood planks into logs? Apparently, yes! No, the answer is no. That's not a real Minecraft recipe. And for the first time, it's because Minecraft logic says no. They actually changed the code of this game to, you know, literally confuse everyone watching this video and clickbait them. Yeah, that's right, guys. They use something called a data pack. If you open up chat, they type in slash data pack. Uh, and then we're going to disable it. As you can see, it's a file slash craft oak log. And now that it's disabled, it goes back to normal Minecraft. And you can see, yeah, not a real thing. It's going to make a crafting table because that's the recipe for a crafting table, not an oak log. Oh, my goodness. Okay. I hate clickbait, guys. And you know what? I want some more work and hacks, but we're actually out of time for this video. So if you want to see more of the work, make sure to watch the next video, guys. I'll see you then. Till then, anyway, stream out. Bye.